Welcome to part 33. And now it's time for my least favorite portion of the entire game. The Triforce Peace Gathering. And it's a three step process and we're doing step one right now. Finding the Triforce charts. And um, I know where they are. Um, I can uh, show you where to find them. But in, in case you don't know where they are, um, here's a hint. Remember that incredible chart that Tingle sent you? You know, the one you had to pay a uh, charge of 201 rupees uh, to get? Well, it shows locations of anything Triforce related, whether it be uh, charts and uh, Triforce pieces. Which begs the question, how does he know where this stuff is? Uh, anyway, let's get started. First stop is Overlook Island in Quadrant G1. Now, the only way to uh, move across this island is to use the hook shot to hook from palm tree to palm tree. Now, you want to be careful because there are cannon boats circling the island, and you'll run into a blue choo-choo. Kill it if you want its jelly. Now, ultimately, uh, when we will get to a point where we can uh, see a hole in one of these uh, structures. And we have to fall down that hole because uh, below is an arena-like area. And inside the uh, main hub, there are five doors. One of them is sealed, the other four are not. The idea is we have to go through each of the unsealed doors and fight enemies. And once we fight all the enemies in a certain room, the, the torch will light up. And by after lighting all four torches, we will face a uh, room full of dark nuts. And after that, we will gain access to the uh, room with the Triforce chart. And with that, let's get busy. No sweat. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, before I go inside the door and get my Triforce chart, I'm going to pick up one of the uh, Dark Nuts uh, swords and destroy some columns. And by doing so, we will be getting a ton of rupees. A ton of rupees. I am not joking. And whew. I mean, look at this one alone. And I think I see some purple ones there, too. Ooh. All right. As I destroy columns for rupees, I'll go ahead and read the fishman comment. <clears throat> hey, small fry. Do you know about the golden triumph forks? They're there, I tell you. On that island. The charts there is what I mean to say. But the cliff there is rises sharply. And if you want to climb it, there aren't any ledges or footings to grab onto. See? What are you going to do now, small fry? Well then, fishman. What I did was I got a brilliant spring load contraption to pretty much pull myself to my uh, destination. And here I am, ready to claim my chart. Yay! And by the way, look at this. Rupees, rupees in, that, in these vases. It's like they want us to have a lot of rupees. I wonder why. Well, anyway, stand on this wind crescent and play the wind's requiem to summon forth uh, the chest containing the Triforce chart. And actually, folks, um, this is actually Triforce chart number eight. Yeah, the very last uh, Triforce chart I'm getting first. <laughs> Isn't that kind of weird? Well, yeah. In fact, by, in fact, like, uh, by... You'll be playing the Winds Requiem at a number of locations while searching for the Triforce um, charts. I mean, not all of them have the uh, 
Not all of them require the Wind's Requiem, but uh, most of them. I would say most. So yeah, one down, seven to go. Whew. And uh, we're making good progress already. Alright, up we go, and up, and onward to our next destination. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> the Island of Steel in Quadrant B5. It's essentially a fortress in the ocean with a bunch of cannon boat patrols, cannons on the sides of the uh, fortress, and Kargarak birds perched on top. Now the best uh, strategy is to sail past the defenses and bomb the cannon boat blocking the entrance. And just like that, it is sunk. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a piece of treasure that um, that's nearby. And as you can see, I'm being pelted with bombs. So it's a good chance to uh, demonstrate the uh, magic armor I got from Zunari. And while I um, salvage some treasure, I'm going to read the fishman's comments. <clears throat> Tell me, small fry, have you ever heard of the fabled set of triumph forks? Well, it's right there, my young fry, on that island. You know, a chart showing you where to find them. Of course, getting there, it's the hard part. No, it's not. Nope, no, 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 no. As you, can, as you just saw, all you have to do is just go straight past your defenses uh, at top speed and bomb the living heck out of that boat. And if, um, if you are having trouble, the magic armor is of great benefit because cannon boat bombs will just... <laughs> You'll feel nothing, as long as you have enough uh, magic energy to uh, spare. <laughs> so, yep, here we are, a uh, try another shrine, and um, you know the routine. Just like uh, before, we are going to go up to the uh, Wind Crest, play the Wind's Requiem, and uh, claim our Triforce chart. <sighs> and, of course, if you want, go get the face that's full of... Um, goodies now um, here's the thing how come an isle of uh, island of steel has this has a triforce chart I mean where do these triforce charts come from in the first place I mean I mean this isn't even the weirdest place to find them but eh, maybe they were placed there a long time ago and you know how centuries pass and Things get built on top. I mean, this was probably a normal island at some point, but then the forces of evil took over, but then they couldn't really get access to the chart, and, well, they pretty much did the ne next best thing, um, built some kind of fortress around it so that no one can get the Triforce chart. But, as you saw here, I just got the Triforce chart, so, meh, take that, forces of darkness. Is that the best you can do? Really, is that the best you can do? <laughs> Well, I'm Bush. Let's head over to uh, Link's Oasis, shall we? Because, well, hey, I got this nice island all to myself. I might as well check it out. I might as well relax a little. Now, to get into the house, um, you have to present your uh, cabana deed over to the door here. Yes, the door, for some reason, is alive and will only recognize the owner of the place. Which, thankfully, is you, and he will recognize you, so... Yeah, so this door, magical? There's magic everywhere. I'm just going to go with the flow. So anyway, let's go inside. Let's check out uh, Link's pad, shall we? <laughs> okay. And, oh, we got a nice tub. Um, that's nice. Um, there's a picture and a um, fireplace. It's a nice place to retire after this whole hero shtick. And uh, here's the thing. Why is there a picture of the snot kit from Outset? Why? And there's another jumbled picture, so... Yeah, this is a nice little minigame if you want to do it. Uh, essentially, you have to arrange the uh, squares in a... Pretty much to assemble the picture correctly. And the door butler will uh, pretty much fill in the missing square once you complete it. And all you'll get is rupees for it. But hey, I decided to do it for a little while because... Eh, I want to do a little, a little distraction wouldn't hurt. But then, in just a bit, I got bored and decided to quit. And the way he, um, and the way we quit is hilarious. But basically, um, the door butler will apologize for pretty much wasting our time. <laughs> I like that. Oh, and here's another thing. If you roll over and knock over the vases on top of the counter, 
They will break and he will go like, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Or something to that effect. Yeah. <laughs> what is that sound? So, yeah. Anyway, the real reason we came to the Oasis is there is a Triforce chart right here. And to get there, first you have to grapple this beam right here. And by doing so, it will put out the fire, revealing a hidden hole. Huh. Who the thunk? Alright, so hidden hole underneath uh, Link's uh, house. I'm sure there's nothing bad underneath. It'll probably just lead to a basement where there's something nice. Now, hey, here's the hidden sewer basement area, and it's filled with rats that want to steal all of your hard-earned rupees. So have your boomerang standing by to kill them in one go. Because I'm not letting these things steal all my rupees, not after I've worked so hard to get them. Yeah. Anyway, here, go down or drop down this hole right here, and go to the passageway right here. Yeah, just crawl in. We haven't seen this in a while. So essentially, just follow the path until you get to a uh, fork, and you want you want to take a right, and then here, head straight, and then you'll head upwards, and. When we do, we will come across a um, some pegs, and one of them will open a gate. Will lead straight. Will open a gate straight back to the um, entrance. The other will open the gate that will allow you to continue. The one to the left will allow you. Will allow us to continue. Wait, hold on a second. No. Uh, sorry. Yeah, the one here will allow us to continue, and basically we're going to go down and crawl down the hole. Make sure you go down this one right here. Alright, and then once again we have to crawl. Again, be on the lookout for rats. Thankfully there are no rats in this kind of corridor that will drop us in the wa water, and that would suck. Uh, that music while I crawl is very uncomfortable. Alright, I hear you, rats. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah! Alright, now, this peg right here... Die, rat. I was checking it to see if the closest queer... Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, this peg right here will open a passageway that will allow us to get back to the entrance quickly. And, essentially, um... That's because what we're going to do now is head down the hole without the ladder. And down here we will encounter a couple of Redeads. And uh, let's just say that they paralyze me and that's not good. But don't worry, they, they don't grab me, they don't drain me, they don't molest me. <sighs> you know, suddenly uh, Link's place uh, is uh, pretty terrible. Ah, oh, jeez! <laughs> no, too close, too close! There, ah. Yeah, um, Link, um, your place is, looks good on the outside, but terrible on the inside. I mean, you know, if there is the proper renovation, uh, if there is proper renovation, you could turn this place into, like, your own secret, um, hero's cave, like Batman. I mean, you do have an Alfred-type character already, you know, the door butler. But, um, um, uh, you know... But still, uh... Well, anyway, regardless, let's just go down here, and after we go through this uh, passageway right here, we will come across another wind crest, and then we have to play the Wind's Requiem, and we will claim our Triforce chart and get out of here. I mean... You know, I suppose if you just keep the fire burning in the fireplace and cover up the hidden hole, um, I'm sure that, um, nobody would thing to come down here in this deep dark sewage basement area and mrs. Marie used to own this place yeah 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 but she said herself she hasn't come here as much so she probably hasn't seen any uh, rats or redead down here I mean, I mean she would sell that cabana deed um, for like a for cheap if she realized what kind of creeps are down here in the sewers Ugh. Well, 
anyway, we got our Triforce chart. Hooray. Now let's get out of here. Yep. Alright, to do so, we're going to peg this, uh, pound this peg right here. And then we'll go through that shortcut we've opened uh, not too long ago. Alright, come on. Let's get out of here. Ugh. So, um, yeah, this is Link's Oasis right here in a nutshell. I mean, it's a nice place to visit, but I don't think Link would want to live here. No way. Now let's head back to Stonewatcher Island, and I'll go ahead and read the Fishman comment. <clears throat> so tell me, Small Fry, have you heard about the Golden Triumph Forks? There are such things, and there's a chart that will show you where to find them on that island there. If you want it, try asking that huge, grouchy-looking Stonewatcher. I doubt you could even budge the thing, though. You've got skinny arms, Fry. Well, not if we have the power bracelet, that is. Now, here's the thing. Once we get up here and uh, move that head to reveal a hidden hole, that hidden hole is pretty much identical to the one at Overlook Island. I mean, the arena area, four rooms, um, uh, even down to the facing uh, dark nuts before getting into the room with the Triforce chart and pillars that contain a whole bunch of rupees. So I'm not going to say anything. Instead, I will once again hit the fast forward button and uh, claim the chart quickly. So um, let's do this. Told you it looked identical to Overlook Island. <sighs> anyway, who made the Triforce charts in the first place? I'm, I'm serious. Um, who had the idea to uh, essentially assemble, um, create charts to pretty much reveal the locations of the shards? Um, the goddesses? I mean, they would know that at some point that they would have to have a chosen hero worthy of the Triforce of Courage, so... Maybe they uh, pretty much drafted someone who was good at charts to create the um, Triforce charts. And, uh, hmm. He, even the, it, well, at least they had, there was a fatal flaw of having the Triforce charts indecipherable. Yeah, if we open these uh, Triforce charts right now, we cannot read a lick of their locations. We cannot get pretty much where they're at. <sighs> And there is one person in the entire game who is good with charts. But we'll get to him later on. <laughs> let's get out of here. Let's get out of here right now. Now let's go to Birds, Peak, Rock, and Quadrant G5. And I'll go ahead and read the Fishman comment. <clears throat> Tell me, Small Fry, have you heard of the Golden Triumph Forks? They're there, on that island. Or at least, a chart leading to them is there. Where it's hidden, you ask? Well, for that answer, you'll have to ask a gull. Eh, <laughs> hint, hint. Well, anyway, remember how I got that heart piece on uh, Needle Rock Island? You know, taking control of a seagull? Well, we're going to do it again, only this time on a much grander scale. But before I do that, I decide to um, take care of the uh, car Garrocks that are patrolling uh, the uh, peak. Now... There are five switches on each of the five por points of uh, this uh, this island right here. And using a seagull, we have to pretty much hit all five crystal switches in order to activate a gate that's blocking the hidden hole, which will lead us to the Triforce chart. And boy, that's a mouthful. Now, what I'm doing right now is I am going to make it easier on myself in killing every single one of these enemy birds so that um, they don't chase me around as a seagull and I don't get hit and uh, I don't lose control of said seagull. Oh, and good news. I managed to kill every single one of these little birds. Yeah, 
there are only four of these birds around here, so you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about wasting your arrows um, much. But hey, don't worry, everything will be fine. Everything will be cool. And um, here's a little and. If you don't want to use a seagull for all of it, though, um, it is possible to hit the crystal switches using uh, your arrow. All you have to do is aim a little lower, like aim for the nest and aim just a little bit lower and shoot the uh, arrow. And if you hear a little ting and see a little flash, that means you have successfully hit the crystal switch. And yeah, now will be less work for your seagull to do. But for this playthrough, I decided to take control of the seagull and hit all five switches, personally. And of course, basically, to get the rest of the uh, enemy birds, I decided to climb all the way up here. And, of course, be careful, there is a blue choo-choo on the top, and kill if he wants jelly. <sighs> Come on. There you go. Uh, okay. Now, of course, if you want to get some arrows, I believe the grass has some arrows for us uh, somewhere. There you are. Alright, let's go on and kill the rest of the birds. Two of them are, well, three of them are, are perched up on their nests. And I've killed one of them already. Now I've killed two. And this is me trying that whole uh, hitting the crystal switch with the um, arrow, but it doesn't work. Come on. Dead. Two down, two to go. Three down, one more. And of course, this happens to be the one that's circling the switch. But don't worry, I managed to successfully kill it, which means I'll have no opposition while striking the switches. And as soon as I take control of the seagull using one of the pairs, I will speed things along so that uh, we don't have to be here all day. Come on, birdie. Come on. Come on, I want to kill you. This reminds me of Duck Hunt for some reason. And dead! Thank you! Good! No more birdies. So let's get to it. Let's get, bring out one of these pairs, take control of a uh, seagull, and uh, successfully um, hit all five crystal switches. So let's do this! <laughs> Yay! Woo! -hoo! We're in! <sighs> I don't know about you folks, but the seagull controls are a bit nerfed, in my opinion. I mean, I mean, I mean, they're okay, they get the job done, but I don't feel like there's, I don't think I get total control. I mean, there were a couple of times during that that I completely missed the switch, even though I clearly, I clearly touched it, it just went right through without turning yellow. And thank goodness that um, the um, switches remain yellow. I mean, if they turn back white, uh, then we'd have some problems. Then we have some problems because, uh, I mean, uh. and look at all these rupees and all these vases. I mean, clearly they are building up to something. Uh. Am I just overdoing it at this point, folks? This whole getting the rupee thing? Well, I'm sorry, but you have to get a lot of rupees. You do have to get a lot of rupees. And uh, I will explain why in a video or two. But in the meantime, let's claim another Triforce chart. whoop de doo Hey. 
You know, getting a Triforce piece would be a lot easier, but hey, this Link has to do it the hard way. Don't worry, we're almost done with it. Now back to Needle Rock Isle, and I'll go ahead and read the Fishman comments. <clears throat> You've seen those boats sailing around here with the real huge cannons, right, Fry? I bet you those things have their holes packed with treasure. Of course, if you don't have a can yourself, there's no way you'll ever sink one of them. Oh, but thankfully we do have a cannon. And the reason why we are here at Needle Rock is to sink a boat. Because one of these boats has a Triforce chart. Now, how did a cannon boat get a hold of one of them, you may ask? Well, that will forever remain a mystery. Of course, it is too dark. I cannot see the cannon boats. Yeah, there's three of them. And there is one specific cannon boat you have to target. The one that is made of gold. Yep. A golden cannon boat. And that one has the Triforce chart. So, what I'm going to do as soon as I make it all daylight so I can see things better. I will sail directly up to said cannon boat. Sink it. And I'll get the Triforce chart for myself. No, of course, the remaining two uh, cannon boats will gun for me. So I decided to put up my uh, magic armor to protect myself. And with that, let's go! Come on, where are you? There they are! Dum da dum. Da 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 da. Hurry up, where are you? There you are! Don't need you, don't need you, I do need you, ha <laughs> ha And with it, and at point blank range, it cannot defend itself, so yeah. And that chart is good as ours, yay. See, the other two boats are pretty much hitting me, so I'm going to put on that magic armor to protect myself. So yeah, six uh, Triforce uh, charts down, two more to go. Now the last two will take a little more time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end my video here and uh, we will continue the hunt for the Triforce charts in uh, part 34 where things will get a little bit more spooky and more dangerous. <laughs> Alright, well then uh, we'll see you in part 34, bye bye now.